Hello everybody, Flame and Shark back with another video, and this is my review to my blind commentary, blind reaction to ReZero Season 2, Episodes 1 to 3. I also did the Pachinko scene, uh, Subaru and Amelia's first date, um, so that's also in here at the beginning. Um, this really should have been at the end of Memory Snow, but, you know, I wasn't entirely clear on what it was, uh, but I knew to do it before Season 2. And I, I mean, I don't know. I, I think I knew to do it after the OVAs, but I don't think I, I, I don't know. I think I got confused on where. Um, so I just did it here, and, and that's fine. But obviously, it basically goes on the end of Memory Snow, essentially. But uh, yeah, so we started season two of ReZero, and this video is over two and a half hours for three episodes and a little slot machine scene. So, needless to say. There's a lot of theory talk, there's a lot of breaking down things, especially the OP. There's a lot of just general, like, analyzation and just, you know, breaking down, like, what the hell's going on in this show and what they're trying to do with these um, episodes and this arc and all of that. It's a really fun time. Um, I think this was a really solid video. I think you guys will really enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, you ReZero fans are in for a treat because I can't imagine I'll <laughs> be doing a two-and-a-half-hour three episode commentary again in the future um for ReZero and I'd say it's unlikely for anything really this was pretty insane um how this turned out and like I said between the uh Subaru and Amelia's first date which was basically like the first eight minutes of the video and then I really went in on the OP for whatever reason I really went into that harder than I normally do uh, between the two I mean that that's a big part of it but even still like it was a really just a lot of talk about the episodes and just really enjoying what's going on. I'm really hyped for this season. It's it's already awesome three episodes in. I can't wait to see what the final ten episodes of season two part one have in store for us. And yeah, it's just going to be awesome. Obviously, at least at least to the time this is being posted, I have the profile picture to match the uh, hype of season two of ReZero, which is pretty sick. And I'm really looking forward to what they do with the rest of... The season, like I said, because it's going to be awesome, and there was so much spicy stuff in these episodes. But anyways, uh, links are down below to the reaction on Breach and Mega. You can pick whatever you want. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot else to say, really. Like, these episodes were fire. Um, I'm really excited for more ReZero. It's it's nice to be finally getting into the proper season 2 of ReZero after doing the OVAs. Uh, even though I really loved the second OVA in particular, uh, it's nice to be getting on to the proper regular show now. Um, and it's awesome. Like, it's fire. There was just so much spice in these episodes, and I'm really excited to see where the rest of the uh, season goes. Because we still got ten episodes, and that's a lot of uh, stuff to do over the next uh, three videos, if I'm not mistaken. We should have three more videos of ReZero, and then... So essentially, ReZero is probably going to be going on for about the rest of the year. Um, if I post every day, I'm either going to do it on the 31st of December or the 3rd of January. If I post every day the rest of the year, I'm not sure which day I would do because, um, you know, currently the way it's scheduled, I'll finish Hunter x Hunter on December 30th. And the idea would be that in that next flip, it would be the final ReZero rotation. Um, but if I do finish Hunter on December 30th, I might celebrate by doing some random video on the 31st instead of ReZero, or I might do ReZero, but I think I want to be at the top of the rotation at the beginning of the year, uh, when I do my update video, and obviously January 1st, the first video of 2021 will be an Attack on Titan reaction, because that will be Friday, and then I might shift the day on that as well, and, you know, just various other things will be going on at that point. But uh, January 2nd, there will be an update video where I talk about various things for the new year. And uh, I, I might want to I might want to be at the top of the rotation and like have it because it's kind of like the year reset. And so like the first rotational video of 2021 be the final video of season two, part one of ReZero. So I don't know, but we're probably looking the point is, is we're looking at either the end of December or more likely really early January for when we finish ReZero Season 2 Part 1, which is pretty exciting. 
Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm really looking forward to all of that. So yeah, it should be a lot of fun and I'm definitely excited for more ReZero uh, because these episodes were amazing and I'm just really enjoying the series. I did my rewatch of ReZero prior to season two. I did my season one rewatch. Absolutely fire. Um, as always with this series, it's always better on a rewatch than I remember it. There's certain series that I think do that to me and ReZero is one of the harder ones where like I really... When I watch this show, I'm like, I just get so hyped and it's just like, it's so interesting and I just love the mental spiral and, and I just love the all the different elements of the series and, you know, it was so great to not only relive the events of season one, but also um, get into new content with season two that wasn't just like OVAs, which obviously the first one just filled in a gap in the story. Uh, that was very cool, but not necessarily that important for the most part. I mean, it was still pretty cool, though. Uh, and then the second OVA, obviously, filling in a lot of backstory um, for the series. That was really saucy. I really liked that second OVA. Uh, the Frozen Bond was fantastic. Uh, but actually getting into Season 2 proper now is so hype, and I'm so ready for more ReZero. So it's going to be great. And I hope you guys enjoy my reactions as we go through Season 2 Part 1 of ReZero. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with Season 2 Part 2 of ReZero. I've discussed the idea potentially of doing it as it comes out. I think I'm not going to do that, but there is a part of me that really does want to do that. So we'll see. Um, because that's the thing. I don't really see it lining up that amazingly with... Um, with Ruby and AOT, and especially, you know, with, uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it, but it is one of those things where, and maybe that'll be for the best, because then I'll similarly get to watch Season 2 Part 2 in the same format that I watched Season 2 Part 1, where I get to do, you know, multiple episode reactions and do it in this format, which is, you know, like, I guess my traditional uh, format of watching content as opposed to the single episode format I really only reserve for when I'm caught up to a series and doing it as it's coming out see Ruby V8 or Attack on Titan Season 4 uh, literally in the coming days as those videos will start will be coming out on Fridays at least through January 1st. Like I said, I might in my new year update, I might move Attack on Titan to a day closer to its release. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see what we'll see what I decide to do there. But for now, uh, at least for the first, I believe, four episodes, I will be posting my AOT reactions on Fridays. But, um, yeah, this is just a really good, a really good, fun series. Fun's actually the wrong word. It's a really depressing series, but it's just so good. Like, this is one of those anime where I'd say, of all of my, like, I'd say, like, favorite anime that I've seen so far, this would probably be... <laughs> My second most controversial take, I used to say, I mean, and this is a very praised anime, so it's not like a super controversial take, but I would still say this is probably my second most controversial take as far as my, like, favorite anime are concerned. Uh, there's one that is, uh, a meme, and if you, if you, if you, if you really look at my mouth, you can find one, something that, that controversial on there. Um, but other than that, all the rest of them are pretty much, like, all ones that I'd say, like, most people would agree are fucking amazing, um, with a few exceptions, I mean, but I mean, all, but even this one is, like, really praised, so, like, most of my favorite anime of all time aren't too far off from, like, normal opinion, I'd say, or at least it's a fairly normal opinion to say X series or Y series is amazing, and this is... Um, I, and part of it, I think, is because it's a newer series, and obviously it's, you know, an isekai and everything, and that's, you know, there's a lot of people that like to dump on isekai, and I get it, but I think I can appreciate the really good ones even more, because I don't actually watch 20,000 isekai, thank god. Um, I would want to kill myself. Like, legitimately, I think I've only seen three off the top of my head, which is Konosuba, ReZero, and SAO. So, you know, I don't really have that much of a, like, an isekai, like, eh, that I know some anime fans do, because obviously that genre has become so popular, um, you know, over the last, like, decade or so, especially with the rise of Sword Art Online, but also, you know, other things as well. Um, shows like Konosuba and ReZero and all that stuff, certainly, you know, those LNs certainly didn't uh, hurt the 
general sauce. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying ReZero as no surprise to anyone. And it's really weird because I reacted to ReZero in 2016 and now we're here in 2020, the end of 2020, doing ReZero Season 2. And, you know, obviously I've grown a lot as a person from when I watched Season 1. So you kind of... For anyone who decided to like go back and watch my season one ReZero reactions, um, you know, either because they hadn't watched them in like four years or they just have never seen them because maybe they're a newer viewer, they went back on the channel and watched my season one commentaries and you get to see a younger me and you get to see me, you know, still pretty similar, but certainly I've grown over the years, you know, because I was like, what, like probably like 19 or whatever. Um, probably like around 19 when I was doing ReZero Season 1 and I'm 23 now and there's like a big difference uh, in uh, who I was when I was 19 and who I was when I was 23 or whatever it was age-wise. So it's definitely really interesting, but I do think generally that even back then you can really see my love for this show and that has not waned in the four years <laughs> since I watched it. I still think this show is fucking awesome and I'm so glad to uh, be finally back doing more ReZero. It's it's a great feeling, you know, to wait four years for a series kind of sucks, but, you know, to finally be able to watch it is pretty fire, so it is what it is, and uh, here we are, so it's pretty hype, and obviously season two, part two is coming pretty soon, and I have no idea what I'm exactly going to do with that. Um, the general idea was to get to it eventually as one of the Monogatari breakoff points, but if I do it that way, it's probably going to be a very long time before I get to it. So I don't know if that's what I'm going to do or not, but whatever the case may be, I'm very excited for the next 10 episodes because that will be coming in the next three rotations after this one. So you can look forward to that no matter what. But anyways, don't have anything else to say. I've, blah, 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 blah. I've gone on for quite a while, so let's just leave it off here. Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.